Hey, welcome to the Spokane County Library District's online story time. Glad you could join me today. I am Miss Tammy. We are going to start with a welcome song and you might know part of it, so sing along if you do. This is how our song goes. Welcome, welcome everyone. We're together, let's have some fun. Stories, songs, and puppies puppets too. Story time is a place for you. Do you know your ABCs? Come along and sing with me. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I've sung my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job, everyone. I love singing our alphabet song. It's a great way to learn all of our letters. Well, I brought something to show you today that goes along with our story time. But I want to see if you can guess what it is that I brought. But I'll give you some clues to help you. So, the first clue is that this is an animal. My goodness, there's so many different animals out there. I better give you a second clue. This animal lives on a farm. Okay, so we know it's not an elephant or a giraffe. They don't live on a farm. Okay, so this farm animal um, can be black or white or spotted or even pink. Mm. A farm animal that might be spotted or black or white or pink. Here's your last clue. This farm animal that can be black or whited or spotted or even pink likes to say, oink, 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 oink. What is it? Did you guess a pig? If you did, you would be right. Oink, 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 oink. Yep, I have some songs and rhymes today all about pigs. So you probably know this song. We're just gonna sing one verse of it all about our pig. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig. Yep, E-I-E-I-O with an oink, oink here and an oink oink there here an oink there an oink everywhere an oink oink old mcdonald had a farm e i e i o yep there's our piggy let's do a rhyme about some pigs now we know pigs love to play in whoops <gasps> the mud yep they use the mud because that makes them nice and cool and keeps the flies off of them so in this mud we have some pigs let's count them one two three four five and these pigs are all dirty from rolling in the mud. And this is how our rhyme goes. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Five little pigs rolled in the mud. Oh my goodness, they need a scrub. That means they need to take a bath. The farmer took one piggy out. Oink, 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 that pig did shout. The farmer gave him a bath and now he is clean. So we have one, clean pig and one, two, three, four dirty pigs. Yep, all five pigs are still there. 
Four little pigs rolled in the mud. Oh my goodness, they need a scrub. The farmer took one piggy out. Oink, oink, oink. That pig did shout. Now we have one, two clean pigs and one, two, three dirty pigs. But there's still five pigs. Three little pigs rolled in the mud. Oh my goodness, they need a scrub. The farmer took one piggy out. Oink, oink, oink. That pig did shout. How many clean? One, two, three clean. And two dirty. Two little pigs rolled in the mud. Oh my goodness, they need a scrub. The farmer took one piggy out. Oink, oink, oink. That pig did shout. One, two, three, four clean pigs and just one dirty pig. One little pig rolled in the mud. Oh my goodness, they need a scrub. The farmer took that piggy out. Oink, oink, oink. That pig did shout. How many dirty pigs do we have? Zero. No dirty pigs, which means we have one, two, three, four, five clean pigs. Yep. Oh, nice clean pigs. The farmer turned his back and then five little pigs rolled in the mud again. Those silly pigs. I love this rhyme because there are always five pigs. So parents, this is a great rhyme to do because you're helping your child understand the concept of five, which is really important for them to understand as they're going into school. Um, it shows the different combinations of ways of making up five. Um, let's do a little movement song so you can go ahead and stand up. We're gonna put our dirty pigs in their mud away. There we go. We're gonna do some more rolling of our hands. Okay, roll, roll, roll your hands as slow as slow can be. Roll, roll, roll your hands. Do it now with me. Let's start again. Roll, roll, roll your hands as fast as fast can be. Roll, roll, roll your arms. Do it now with me. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna clap. Clap, clap, clap your hands as slow as slow can be. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Do it now with me. Are you ready for fast? Clap, clap, clap your hands as fast as fast can be. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Do it now with me. Good job. Now we're going to do it again with our feet. We're going to stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet as slow as slow can be. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet. Do it now with me. Ready for fast? Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet as fast, 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 fast as fast can be. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet. Do it now with me. Good job. You can go ahead and have a seat. And we are going to do a finger play. So it's like a little mini story. But instead of reading a book, we're just going to use our hands. So let's see here. We have two mother pigs. You show me your two mother pigs. Yep, your thumbs. Two mother pigs lived in a pen. They each had four babies, and that makes ten. Yep. These four babies were black as night. And these four babies were black and white. But all eight babies loved to play. They rolled and rolled in the mud all day. 
at night with their mother. They curled up in a heap and squealed and squealed till they fell asleep. Good job. Let's see, I have some letters to show you. Let's see if you know what they are. I bet you do because you knew all your letters when we did our alphabet song. First, we have our letter P, 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 P. And then we have a letter I, capital I, P, I. And then we have the letter G, 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 G. And another letter G, look, they're the same, G and G. And then we have the letter Y, P, I, G, G, Y. And all together, this spells piggy. Yep, piggy. Another name for a pig that you'll sometimes hear is a hog. We're going to use that word in our next, next rhyme. So do you remember all the letters? P, I, G, G, Y. Here we go. There was a hungry little hog, and Piggy was her name. Oh, P I G G Y, P I G G Y, P I G G Y, and Piggy was her name. Oh, good job. If we had time, we would do more of that, but that goes to the tune of Bingo. We're going to go ahead and say goodbye with some of our special puppet friends. This might be some fun ways that you could say goodbye too, like with an alligator who likes to say, see you later, alligator. We have our goldfish who likes to blow a kiss. Blow a kiss, goldfish. And then our ladybug, give a hug, ladybug. Our kangaroo with her little joey in her pocket. She wiggles her fingers and says, toodaloo, kangaroo. The very quiet, bye bye, butterfly. And then we have a special one to say goodbye. It's some pigs. And they say, go get busy, piggies. We'll see you later. Bye.